Phil's first to act. And Vance with a potential flush and a potential straight out there. He's going to bet at 400,000. I'm all in. Call in. And quickly, oh, Woody goes all oh. in. Call. Oh. You call? With yeah. bottom pair and an open in straight draw, Phil Ivey calls him with the top two pair. So Woody Moore must catch a nine or a four to make a straight or a deuce to make three deuces. That's all he can catch to win this pot. He must catch a 9-4 or a deuce to stay alive in this tournament. Can he do it? I got a straight draw and a pair of deuces. Yeah, he has played so nicely all night long. Great bluffs, great strength. A real character at the table right now. The former oil man. The Luau could be over for him. As the cars lie, Phil Ivey over a 3-1 favorite to win this pot and eliminate yet another player at this final table and take one step closer to capturing his first WPT title. <laughs> I got a good feeling. <laughs> I don't know, I'm neutral. Well, everybody's laughing, enjoying themselves. Woody knows he's got to have help. Let's see if he can get it. Nope, a jack comes off. So that's going to do it for Woody Moore. But Vance, what a tournament he had. Plenty of entertainment, lots of fun. Enjoyed himself, made some great poker plays at this final table. But in the end, out in third place. Yes, he had a great time. He's an entertaining player. He's going to pick up $625,000 here at the LA Poker Classic. So we are down to two players. The heads up battle about to begin between Phil Ivey and Quindo. As is the custom on the World Poker Tour, when we get down to heads up play, we have our money presentation. So show us the money. And here come out the commerce cuties. With plenty of cash, man. That's over $2 million they're putting on the table. Surrounding that beautiful trophy they give away to the winner here at the Commerce Casino. A Remington statue. Probably the nicest trophy on the tour, but the real trophy to these guys is taking home that WPT title and the $1.6 million that goes with the winner. And, of course, the WPT chip set. It is all there on the line. Up for grabs. Will Phil Ivey take home his first WPT title? Or will it go to the restaurant owner, Quindo? We will see. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the WPT. The LA Poker Classic continues. Heads up action about to begin. We've got Phil Ivey, our chip leader. He'd love to become champion. He has to get past Quindo, the restaurant owner from Seattle. Quinn Do also calls himself a professional poker player, plays a lot right here at the Commerce Casino. All right, the blinds are still 80 and 160,000. Action on Phil Ivey, who's got a queen six of diamonds. He's going to limp in and make the call on the button. And Quinn Do with an eight deuce of clubs. I'm happy to get a free flop here. And indeed he is as he checks. So it's queen six of diamonds up against eight deuce of clubs. What's come? A6-5 with two diamonds. What a flop for Phil Ivey. He's got two sixes and a diamond flush draw. Action is on Quinn, however. He checks. And now Phil, four flushing and pairing there. And he's got one of those hands that you're just hoping to get to go with. He bets the minimum bet here, 160000 He's hoping his opponent has some kind of hand he can raise with or one he'll make a move with. Yeah. Especially because Phil didn't raise before the flop. He's not going to be put on an ace. But, no. Quindo yeah. lays the hand down. So Phil Ivey taking down that pot. He takes one step closer to capturing his first WPT title. And Vince, we have a lot of stats on WPT on GSN.com. But I don't believe there's any stat better than the one Phil Ivey owns. He's made the money eight times on the World Poker Tour. All eight times he's made it down to the final six places. That is incredible because some events we pay 45 players, 60 players, 100 and yeah. some players in the championship event. It's incredible that every time this guy gets the money, he makes it to the final six. Back to the action. Queen Doe now with the button. And he's got one of those suited connectors, eight and nine of hearts. Yeah, but he's got this kind of hand you want to see flops with. Quindo limps in and makes the call on the button with the 9-8 of hearts. But Phil right behind him with an ace-8. Well, when a guy limps in on the button, you have to assume that your ace-high is the best hand. 
The only way it's not is if your opponent is trapping. 400. And Phil Ivey's going to raise it up, making an additional 400,000 to go. Well, this is a nice bet by Phil Ivey here. Figures the ace high is the best hand. Indeed it is. In fact, he's got his opponent in great shape here. He's got an ace eight. His opponent's got a nine eight. Cool. But Quindo is going to make the call for another 400,000. So here we go. Over 1.1 million in the pot right now. Phil with the ace eight. Quinn with the nine eight of hearts. Here comes that flop. Oh, it's come ace eight six all spades. Phil Ivey has flopped the top two pair. Quinn Doe has flopped the second pair. But there are three spades. Neither player has a spade. But a big flop for Phil Ivey. Two pair on the flop. And he's coming up to bet. 700,000. And now Quinn with just a pair of eights. No spade. And you call this. You're going into the point of no return. It's a $700,000 bet. Cool. Oh, boy, he's going to make this call, nevertheless. So Quindo, virtually drawing dead, must hit 9-9 nine, nine to win this pot. Deeply invested. Two running spades would give him a split pot. But right now, Phil Ivey in a dominating position to win this pot. And an ace comes oh, off. Wow. Phil Ivey has aces full of eights. There's no hand that can beat him right now. He has the very best hand possible. It's a dream scenario for Phil Ivey. Notice he didn't flinch when that ace came off fence. I'm all in. He's going all in here. Mm -hmm. He just suspects that Quinn called him on the flop. He must have something, whether it's a flush draw, an ace, a pair, something. He is just praying to himself right now that this man calls him. He's saying, please call me, please call me, please call me so I can put that trophy on my mantle. Doesn't have to call here. You can muck this and wait for another day. Down to your last million. But his suspicion is Phil's trying to roll him over on this one. Quinn getting his chips out. Is he going to make the call? If so, this party is over. Phil Ivey will wear the crown and capture that elusive first WPT title of his. Well, with that title, $1.6 million. Folks, it's tough to make these WPT final tables. Phil Ivey has done it eight times more than any other player in the world. I call. Oh, boy. And he makes a call. He's done and it. Phil Ivey has done it. It is over. Phil Ivey is our champion. He has finally captured the WPT title. So Quindo took a long time to think about what to do. Finally made the wrong decision. What can you say? Phil Ivey. The man that blew out of final tables with Ace Queen numerous times, never got lucky, has finally done it. Get some luck here tonight at the LA Poker Classic. Well, the River Cards of Four Clubs makes no difference. Phil Ivey wins his pot with aces full of eights. He has finally captured a WPT title. Not much you can say. We saw, you know, poker brilliance. Probably the biggest name in the game. Taking home his first WPT title. With that close to $1.6 million, Phil Ivey's our champion at the Commerce Casino. And here's to the champion of the L.A. Poker Classic, the greatest poker player in the world, Phil Ivey. For Vince Van Patten, Layla Cayley, Kimberly Lansing, and everyone at the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters.